I said, Father, you knew that this will happen. I began to talk to the Lord. I said, Father, you knew that this will happen, yet you allow me to open my mouth and say, John Mahama is going to be the next president of Ghana. Oh, Father, if John Mahama does not win, no problem. I'm going to come back here, and I know I know that he will win. He has won already. But if they steal this election, that's the appropriate word. Aha, I have been for a demo song for a benful quamjuma, and the Masana Jebre, a dear to amu. The Munya Shayanka Mopen, the Munya Tianka Mopeno, and no beam and a net, Missan at the Bremo. A abato nonsense, Sam. The Biamicasa, a fina abaso, and a yedi. Na imprim prim bagan anum dia, a fina yedi, you know. San Kenya abato yanka, a beer Christmas, a fina kibidi. A supreme piara, a nam abai away any more, ya babaton seventh December. And it's a ma a fina yedin or gun hanging a quaquay. About one more effing. Na eno, and I'm a Nigeria for our boy room, Zimbabwe for our boy room, eh, just Egypt for our boy room, a deal for my boy Ragan about him domodos ye pa. Nine ten times on your corner, Jira, a year, a couple of deal for, or deal for bar, a year gold green away, prophetess gold green away, and a ne, or non so, or yen in tre tre, a couple, and I saw on conquer and numbness, so I'm one so I can be a cra, a day after Ghana about one. Wan shada and yes or shan com name na or church and com sha asse. No a church ni pa y to me friends it de four. Any a home aswe wo a deep fum and temenya ku put me breast a defo ni be asse. Ya no or chere se se obesha gana about to ma ya mwa de fo be bribi. Awa mo kasa dum se sumu bo eso mum ni tumi obi a de four. O mum ni tumi emma obi a si a hene, and aso mum ni tumi si ni pa hene. En no se sa o yesa emanya kupon brewase. Na enumu. And then send me peer from say, You're right, John Dramani Mahama. And I'm your coupon, you know, so I'm not made deep for. It was your answer, or fancy example, say, emphasis, say, be a coupon, I'm so say, You're right, John Dramani, I'm not made deep for. That's all Casado says, you poor. One man or such, I said, There be. But no cran, no cran, no cran, no par, dear. No send a crap par, dear. Or can a crap par, the young coupon, you know, a year at John Dramani Mahama. Young corn, young could hear prophetess gold green away. How so you been for radio? And only I will set you free. Amen. If Beyonce is the only one I have not heard him say there is mercy. And I did not ask him neither because she said she uses Bible for her tampon. And anyone that uses the word of God for their period, that's witchcraft to, of the highest level. That's blasphemy and insulting. But hey, God can still have mercy on her. But I, as a prophet, I did not inquire of the Lord to do anything to intercede for her because I, did, I wasn't interested in it. So I didn't ask him and he did not tell me to intercede for her. If he did, hey, with all that she did, I will surely intercede, intercede for her. But uh, concerning Beyonce, I did not even bother to ask anything. But Kanye West, for example, you can go and watch all this prophecy. The Lord is using this to draw them to himself. Chris Brown, the prophecy is to draw them to himself. Hallelujah. And the Lord, the Lord is saying, this is a danger, especially for Chris Brown. I saw him almost dying, sniffing cocaine. I saw him almost losing his life. And I saw the Lord stretch out his hand to him. And Chris Brown took the hand and he was, he was uh, redeemed of the Lord. And I pray, my prayer for him is that when he sees that hand, he better take it because that's the only way out for him. You see that? So this is what prophecy is. At the end of it, it's always leading people to Jesus. A true prophet is not all about prophesying only. A true prophet, their focus point is to glorify the one who he's speaking on his behalf. The Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord God Almighty. It is to him be the glory. When Mahama win the election on the 7th of December, it is to God be the glory. Because today, beloved, I even came to that and said, hey, Lord, are you, are you going to change your word now because, they, because of this noise? I said, please, what is your YouTube name? Prophet Gold Greenaway. The same name on TikTok. Prophet Gold Greenaway. You can search for at Prophet Gold Greenaway or you can just type Prophet Gold Greenaway. If you, know, if you don't know the spelling, check my TikTok account. You get the accurate spelling. You can get that there. You can go on YouTube and see all of those prophecy that are there. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. I came to the Lord this evening. I said, Father, <clears throat> because I was grieved in my spirit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I see all this confusion happening, it makes, it grieves me. So I asked, I said, Father, so because 
One thing the Holy Spirit uh, revealed to me during Nigerian election, at the time I was not yet moving fully in the, fully in the prophetic yet, and I've not even started going on YouTube yet at the time, not even on Instagram because I started from Instagram. You know, uh, the Nigerian election, so many, so many people boasted. They boasted, they forgot themselves, they forgot even their assignment. They began to talk too much instead of praying more. <laughs> They began to, if I be the man of God, someone even said, the Lord is warning you. He said, the Lord is warning you. You have 24 hours. If you do not do, if you know that, you will die. The people who do not die, they are still alive. <laughs> Kai. <sighs> African sky. You know, the noise, I'm telling you that I will never forget that experience in a hurry. And the Lord allowed me to have, have that experience to help me with so many, so many things that we are all sharing to grow in it here. I invested physically and spiritually. I invested my time. I don't like watching television or information online that is not biblical or pre preaching or worship songs. For the first time, I invested in Nigerian election. I prayed, I fasted. We did a prophetic act, how we put uh, Peter B and the presidential house. We blow the shofar and everything with a group of prophets. At the time, I was not prophesying openly yet. And I did not, because like I said here to you guys, prophecy, prophetic office is one of the office I revered the most. So I never used to see myself as a prophet. I only see myself as an evangelist. So I got involved in all that act and then Peter Obi did not win. He did not, he did not, he won. Now I understand he actually won, but they stole it. They did break the election because that was the truth. I stayed, my siblings went to sleep at night. I was up on my phone. I was watching everything that was happening. I said, I was so, I was, my heart, my blood pressure, my heart began to pain me. I was now uh, finding difficult in my heart. Like, it's like as though I was going to have a heart attack. That was how much I invested in that Nigeria election. Many people, many men of God boasted proudly. If I be, if I be the servant of God, let's see, unless God does no longer exist. I mean, you have an idea for the, the, the talk, the talk, the talk. And then they declared Tunubu to be president. And I said, surely, Surely they're going to fight this. Surely the truth will come out. Surely Pitobi will get in. He did not. That night, I lay down on the bed. I was like a hopeless human being. I said, oh, Lord, what is this? Are the prophet, false prophet, hey, beloved, I stopped listening to all prophets since that day. <laughs> I was vexed. I was vexed. It was later that the Lord ordained me as a prophet to the nation. He began to help me understand. He said, the man did win the election, but the mistake of my people was they began to talk too much. They talked too much. They began to talk their own words instead of my words. While the enemy was working, they were talking instead of praying. Even when they were praying, they were praying with the hard posture to, for their prophecy to be confirmed rather than my will being done. So the Lord humbled a lot of prophets in that season. He humbled them, just like the year 2020 with Donald Trump. He humbled them. So from time to time, the Lord will humble people. When they begin to talk too much, then it seems like one person wants to take the, the power for them. So I saw what is happening with Ghana. I said, hey, Father, please. Because <laughs> I, I, I felt that sadness when I just said, oh, Lord, please, please. I said, Father, you knew that this would happen. I began to talk to the Lord. I said, Father, you knew that this would happen, yet you allow me to open my mouth and say, John Mahama is going to be the next president of Ghana. Oh, Father, if John Mahama does not win, no problem. I'm going to come back here, and I know I know that he will win. He has won already. But if they steal this election, that's the appropriate word. Lord, I will come back here, and I'll try and preach your word. But what about your people that are watching to see what will happen? What about your people that believe in your word? What about the, the, the people in God? They boasted themselves. Hey, there are some prophets that they, they, they act like without them, Muhammad will not be a president. Today, and I have to beg the Lord, Father, please, why? So is this going to be like Nigeria because of what is happening? Because of how much noise people are making now because they spoke about Donald Trump after just like one day to the election, you come out and say Donald Trump will win. If you want to prophesy as a prophet, prophesy ahead of time small so that we can, you know, people can check you. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait till like when the polls are showing positive, then you come out and say you're prophesying. You know, I'm not saying that you, God will not use you like that. God can use people like that, but I'm just saying. If you want to see if the Lord is bringing something before us, 
do it well. Amen. For example, like the one I was talking about, cyber war, the Lord spoke about it the next day. Sorry, Friday, 24th was what? 20, I spoke about it on a Friday. Give me a moment. Let me talk about my, let me check my calendar here and see. It has not been in the fullness of it, but it has started. I spoke about it on the Friday, the, the 22nd, and on the 24th, two days later, on the television, there was already been something about cyber, cyber, cyber attack, Russia, this and that. That's not the fullness of it, but that is a sign of it. Two days later, something that nobody would have thought of. Just like when we talk about people in America, they're going to try and rig the election, they will get caught. Like about two days later, they caught over a million people trying to rig the election in America. This is something that you cannot predict. But if it's something predictable, like there are two parties and you know that one or the other will win. If you know that the Lord, the Lord is speaking to you, speak ahead of time. Don't wait for one or two days. Then check the atmosphere and come and say, the Lord finally, this person will surely win. Hey, please, let's take it easy. Our God is now an author of confusion. Please go with me to Psalm chapter 8. <laughs> Psalm chapter 8. So if you're a prophet, if you're born to be a prophet, the Lord will not hide his counsel from you. When you begin to find it difficult to hear God, ask him, Lord, where have I gone wrong? This is, uh, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Yeah, uh, Yanda, you're welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that's your name. Ken, uh, is it Kenan? Is it Kenan? Uh, let me see. No. Nothing. Uh, you're welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, beloved, uh, Lisa said, by the holy blood where we save. Hallelujah, that's true. Amen. I am, I am yearly, let me see. I am yearning for a word from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You will have the word from the Lord. But first, go with me to Psalm. Actually, this is the word for everybody. This is the word for everybody. Psalm chapter 8. We're going to read it from the Amplified Bible. This is the word of the Lord for his people. Then we're going to pray for Ghana. And then we'll pray for one another here. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. We'll watch and see. I just pray for the mercy of the Lord over Ghana. There are some prophetic words that I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm going to record it, God willing, today. And then I'll release it, God willing, after the election. I, I Today I was so afraid. I'm not going to lie to you guys. When you walk in the prophetic, people come out and, you know, they, are, they, are, they put on their courage, you know. It's good. But, hey, beloved, we are humans. I'm here believing God. He will, share, he will share what he's doing with me to each and every one of you. The strength, the weaknesses is not, uh, you are not failing if you have reverence for holy things. You are not failing. And people will call you a child. But it is good because the Lord Jesus Christ, what did he say? Unless you are like a child, you will not enter the kingdom. So it is okay. Whatever men want to call you, let men call you. But always remember to focus on what God says about you. Amen. Today, I was, I was um, a bit nervous when I saw the mess going on out there. I look at how men have elevated themselves to a position that only belongs to God in the name of prophecy. And such situation, God can decide, you know what? Let another four years pass. But I pray that he won't do so because he won't do so. Because I believe God, he won't do so. Hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 8. Are we there? <laughs> Amen, Lisa. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord to each and every one of you guys here. Each and every one of us. Amen. We remember his majesty. Remember who he is. So this is the Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible is not the regular Bible that people used to preach with. So if you are thinking of going into the ministry, a time will come that you have to start getting study Bibles. And when we start doing our Zoom meetings, uh, UK, you are welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Light. 
that's what I can catch at the end of your name there. You're welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we start doing our Zoom meeting from January, teaching about the prophetic and spiritual gifts and how to grow in the prophetic and how to grow in every area that the Lord has called you to grow, be it ministry, be it works of life, be it business, whatever it is, we begin to do that spiritually and equip the people of God spiritually, hallelujah, to be able to do that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah.